And that brings us to the final segment of this episode. And what we used to call it back in the Amari Purple Talk days was the Prince Wishlist. Uh, th here we're calling it the Prince Estate Wishlist. And basically what it is, it's an album, a box set, a video, anything that we would like to see the, the estate endorse along those lines, you know, music or video uh, that we would like to own, like a Blu-ray of a live concert or a Blu-ray of, say, all of his music videos, um, live albums, um, certain legendary albums that are in the vault, or you name it. So that's the Prince Estate wish list. And this week, this episode, it, it will be the Triple Threat Tour CD Blu-ray set, or separate standalone releases for each one a la the Hendrix estate. <laughs> so the Triple Threat Tour, although it was never officially called that, that was just kind of a nickname with either the press, um, maybe that's how fan base remembers it. Um, it was the tour in support of the 1999 album. And the reason it was the Triple Threat, because you had Vanity Six and The Time as the opening act. For that and that was a tour unfortunately I did not get to see I've seen I've listened to bootleg footage seen some bootleg footage uh, it's good we have the DVD of uh, Princess Show I think it's in Houston that one uh, but it's good to have an official copy of that now um, but I would like to see like a blu-ray that would have like maybe not that particular show but a different show uh, but also include the Vanity Six set and include the time set as well and have it be a CD you know with the CD maybe disc one is the Vanity Six set disc two is the time set disc three is Princess set um, booklet with liner notes uh, it's kind of hard to do I know that there have been things like where Bob Dylan has put out like the complete Rolling Thunder tour and I forget how many CDs and how much that costs um, I know Prince fans would like to see the equivalent of that especially with something like the Triple Threat tour uh, but again, I don't know how cost effective that would really be, how many people could afford to buy that. I know that would be something that I would struggle with. I don't think I would be able to afford anything like that. Um, but, you know, but to have like, um, like with the Hendrix estate, um, they just release single, a single show. Um, most of the time it's just the CD um, maybe they don't have footage of that particular show just the audio uh, but there are things like the live at Berkeley uh, of course there's Woodstock um, I don't think what else is there um, there's live in Maui that's another one where they have footage of course that one um, it's more of a documentary that has a whole lot of live footage um, in addition to the live CD set so I, w I could see something similar going on with the triple threat tour uh, where you could have either a standalone CD or a standalone or and or a standalone blu-ray or you could just sell it as a bundle as well and like I said have a a booklet complete with liner notes historical notes um, lots of photographs included and I think that would 
you know, you and you don't have to wait till they re-release the 1999 box set, which I'm sure they're going to do. Um, I know there's some confusion about why it's out of print. It's out of print because Warner Brothers can't make any more of those uh, because they no longer license those master recordings. Since 2021, those master recordings um, have been licensed to Sony. So at some point, and I'm assuming they have a plan, but I'm assuming we're going to have to get through Diamonds and Pearls. We have to get through the inevitable Purple Rain 40th anniversary. Um, I'm sure later they'll focus on a later era box set or release. Um, maybe some, like I said, you could put something like this in between box sets. So if you have a later era box set, um, and you don't do another one, say, for maybe, you know, maybe one of the classic era sets, then this is something that you could release, like, in between time. You can just have it, and like I said, it's standalone, so it's a, it's a reasonable price point, um, whether you bundle it with the CD and Blu-ray, or if you sell CD, Blu-ray separately, um, it's still at a price point that won't break a lot of the Prince fan base or you don't have to feel pressure to spend hundreds of dollars or a hundred dollars. Uh, this is something you could spend 20, 30, <clears throat> excuse me, on. Like I said, especially if it's a bundle, it's a reasonable price point to do. And like I said, it'll, it'll whet the appetite. You know, I know people get tired of, oh, I always focus on the 80s, but your era will get its representation within your lifetime we hope you know you know a lot of us first generation fans you know we're starting out we haven't begun to age out of the market yet but we're kind of getting there you know so you know this would be something to have i think like i said you can release this in between you know if they say do a love symbol box set and then you can release this as a little standalone and then whatever they decide to do next, if they want to focus on, say, Musicology or 3121 and do a box set on that, do that, you know, or have a parade box set and then do, say, you know, um, Artificial Age box set, then, like I said, just do this as a little standalone. I think, you know, like I said, I think it'll work. It's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's something that I would definitely love to have for sure um, but what do you think um, what is you know are you a fan of that era um, like I said I missed out on that but the 1999 era just for the memories of being 16 17 uh, you had the what time is it album you know which was probably the best time album period and to, to experience that live um, there's a lot of love for the Vanity 6 album so to see them finally get some representation in some of these releases uh, would be absolutely fantastic so do you share that thought um, what's a good idea for a you know something that you want me to cover in the next Prince Estate wish list you know leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts if you enjoyed this video, hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and get notification on future episodes on the Amari Communications channel, or become a Patreon supporter and get early access to content as well as bonus content exclusive to the channel. Peace.